Hi, Phil Bedford here, and welcome to the Rebel Networking. Okay, on this show, we're going to be continuing our conversation with Amal Loring, who's an expert in culture. Uh, and as some of you may or may not know, I'm based in the uh, UAE. Um, what we're going to talk about here, though, has importance all over the world. Um, Amal, welcome back. Thank you. Great Thanks to see you. <laughs> Obviously, Ramadan is an important time for uh, for Muslims. And what do you feel would be the best way to network? And what kind of things do people need to be aware of during that during that period during the network, uh, the uh, Ramadan period? Yeah, good question, Phil. One of the best opportunities for networking is actually during iftar. And iftar is the meal that's taken at the end of the uh, day when the Muslims stop fasting. And it's a very special and big occasion. Families, they might have more than 40 or 50 people uh, come to the uh, home. So if you're fortunate to be invited by your client or your referral partner to his iftar at his home, then you go for it because it's a fantastic networking opportunity. Many of the hotels here and all over the world will offer special uh, meals. So there is therefore an opportunity to sit down with your uh, referral partner or with the client uh, or potential client but bear in mind, stop selling, build relationships, because it's not a time of decision making. So for those people who are new to, for example, the UAE, or new to uh, Ramadan, uh, wherever they are in the world, bear in mind that um, you know, uh, you've got to be cognizant of that person's and be aware of that person's uh, culture and their religion. So ask some questions, you know, um, how long do you fast for, why do you fast? Um, what do you eat? Because there are specific things that Muslims eat when they break their fast. And these questions are very welcomed. Muslims, uh, culturally and religiously, like to share their religion with those people who are, uh, who are interested. So use iftar as a great networking opportunity. Mm -hmm. Build relationships. And then at the end of uh, Ramadan, which is normally 29 or 30 days, depending on the lunar movements, as that follow-up, you can then look for decision uh, or outline who the decision makers uh, are. So uh, here's, uh, I love what you're saying about building relationships. It's something that really seems to me. Uh, people do mess up. They, they think that is about selling and it's not. It is about relationship building anyway. So it's, it's almost like a, a double extra relationship building time, is, which, yes. which I think is fantastic. Um, I know a lot of cultures at special times of the year, they actually gift presents to people that mean things to them. Is that, is that normal? Would, would you do that? Is that appropriate? Um, it is appropriate, and the gift is also needs to be appropriate. So typically, um, things like dates, uh, baskets of fruit, uh, chocolates, these things which have um, value, but not something that has significant value that may be misconstrued or misinterpreted. Um, giving uh, what's called sadika or gifts, things to the uh, donations to the poor. So, for example, if your company can donate to a local charity, and then just bring that in, up in the conversation with your uh, uh, client. Uh, those type of things are, are perfect. Anything above that might have a different uh, perspective. Great. Well, Amal, I think we've even got more to do. <laughs> I think we've got so much information. I can see another show coming up shortly. Um, Amal, thank you for your time again. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Rebel Networking.